It is Tuesday, November 2nd, and there's a few brand new Switch stories we have to talk about today, starting with the fact that we saw a restock go live on the N64 controller earlier today, and I wanna share with you guys what to expect with these restock schedules going forward in case if you are on the hunt for this N64 NSO controller. Then I also wanna share with you a big interview that just dropped from Mr. Sakurai himself, where he comments on the future of Smash Bros and his mindset about potentially making another sequel, and the big talking point for today Today's video is some very bad news for Nintendo when it comes to overall Switch production and what you may need to be aware of if you are planning to try to pick up a base model Switch or OLED model this holiday season. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunburn Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned guys, we're covering a few different stories today, and I wanna kick it off with the fact that we saw a major restock happen from the Nintendo online store randomly go live today for the N64 controller, and I've definitely seen a lot of you comment on wanting to get your hands on this thing yourself, but obviously it has been very hard to to do up to this point in time as we just had a wave one pre-order happen and then we had a launch day stock drop happen and then now we have an additional random time of another stock drop just happening so the first piece of advice i want to share with you guys if you do want this controller which by the way i just got mine in recently and it is fantastic the rumble feels great the buttons are responsive it feels exactly how you remember a crisp new n64 controller feeling but i do want to share with you guys kind of a strategy on what you can do to hopefully be in the know with the restocks when they do happen because the hard thing about getting this thing is when this restock went live it again sold out immediately and we have a big scalping problem with this controller with many of them actually being sold complete listings on ebay over a hundred dollars which is double the price if not more is what some people are asking for and actually getting paid for this controller and i do think that all the way through the holiday season we will continue to unfortunately see this one get scalped and so there's a couple strategies you can implement to try to get it straight from Nintendo online store when they do go live with restocks and the biggest way is to have a Twitter account with notifications on and I will have the account that I follow for most everything retail related links that go live that is Wario 64 again it will be linked in the description down below what you want to do is go follow Wario 64 and you want to make sure all of your notifications on Twitter are turned on because you may be out and about you may be at work so you want your mobile phone to alert you and just kind of look for that NSO tweet that he did tweet out this morning when the restock drop happened and you have to be first to the punch to click the link sign in probably go ahead and sign in ahead of time on the Twitter browser that opens up when you click that link in the Nintendo store so you don't have to worry about putting in your email and password and things ahead of time because again it's just going to be one of those ongoing issues that we see happen in this current era that we're going through with the pandemic and the global chip shortage that is happening with a lot of electronic items there is just simply not enough supply to meet demand and this really does fall in Nintendo as opposed to like the chip issues that will actually be talking about later on in the video as well because if Nintendo did actually just mass produce this thing and partner with multiple retailers to actually sell it like they do with most of their controllers such as the pro controller for some reason Nintendo has it in their mind that the NSO controllers can only be sold directly through them and that kind of does lead into this problem so let's hope Nintendo produces a ton of these things for everybody out there on the hunt but I did want to share those couple tips and strategies around the Twitter piece to go ahead and make you guys aware and there are other accounts that out retail links like this so if you don't like how much stuff wario 64 tweets out you may look into some other ones that do it as well because you will get a lot of twitter notifications with all of his notifications being turned on but that is my personal advice on if you guys are trying to secure this controller the fastest and best way you can do it on future restock drops without having to pay those crazy scalper ebay prices so please share with me in the comments down below if you guys are going to try to pick up this controller before the holiday season and how you personally will go about doing so 
Now, the next thing I want to share with you all today is a major interview that we had drop out of left field. It was actually done by Famitsu and it interviewed Mr. Sakurai himself. And I want to talk about this because there was a lot of questions as we wrapped up the bow on Smash Bros. Ultimate with the final DLC character being Sora, which again, I am personally very happy with as a send off for the series. And I do hope that maybe we can still one day see Waluigi make the roster as well in the future. But this interview that he answers some questions from Famitsu actually does outline some of his thought process about the potential future of the Smash Bros series going forward. So I do want to quickly hop over to VGC to read through the article together where they do a good job of the summary of Sakurai's thoughts on Smash Bros potential future releases. Smash Bros director Sakurai says he's undecided if he'll make another. He's quoted here saying, I can't see any way to produce Smash Bros without me. Super Smash Bros Ultimate director Masahiro Sakurai has said he's undecided if he'll make another entry now that the Switch installment's generous DLC schedule is complete. Last month, Ultimate's final DLC character Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series was released. This marked the completion of nearly three years of DLC for the fighter, which has seen 11 new characters added to the game. This week, Japanese magazine Famitsu has published a special interview with series lead Sakurai in which the creator reflects on the lengthy development of Ultimate and answers questions about his future. In early excerpts published by Ryo Koyuta, I don't know if that's how you pronounce that at all, translated by VGC, Sakurai reveals that he's unsure if he'll continue with the Smash Bros. series. Series Beyond Ultimate, which eventually became so large that he previously claimed there was no way the series could ever be as big. I'm not thinking about making a sequel, Sakurai told Famitsu, but I can't say that this is definitely the last Smash Bros. He added, I need to think about whether we should release another Smash Bros. game at the risk of disappointing the users. Later in the interview, Sakurai reportedly told the publication that he did not believe the Smash Bros. series could continue without his involvement. He's quoted here saying, I can't see a way to produce Smash Bros. without me, he said. To be honest, I'd like to leave it to someone else, and I've actually tried that, but it hasn't worked out. He continued, if we're going to continue the series, Nintendo and I need to discuss and seriously consider how to make it a success. This week's Famitsu column is Sakurai's last for the publication. The game designer has penned his column since the early 2000s. Despite deciding to end his contribution, he recently said that the decision did not mean he would stop making games in the future. So for me personally, there's a couple big takeaways from that article as obviously Sakurai sees Smash Bros as something he is so passionate about and that he created and breathed life into that he cannot comfortably just pass it off to somebody else to continue to develop the series and that he's tried it before, but it actually has not worked up to his personal standards. And I kind of feel like with his obsession around the series overall, that if we do indeed get that future Smash Bros release, that it will be developed by Sakurai, but then the other other big takeaway is the potential disappointment for fans because obviously with Smash Ultimate, we got a lot of partnership cooperation for different characters and I can only imagine the licensing hoops that they had to go through and deals that they had to negotiate with multiple different companies, developers, and publishers to get all of this stuff done and I think it's pretty clear that Sakurai is referencing the fact that we will not see a stacked roster even anywhere close to what Smash Ultimate was able to accomplish with a potential release in the future. And that's where I kind of want to pose the question to you guys, because would you prefer to still get a next gen smash like released on the next switch, even if the roster is, let's say half of the characters overall, or maybe they go all out and do actually bring back a lot of the fighters, but they can't get all of them. And so instead they add different fighters. Like what would you like to see from the series going forward? Because I think I personally fall in the camp that I would rather smash bros continue from Sakurai himself with obviously a very long much deserved break even if it's another you know five or ten years before we get the next smash bros i would still like to see the series evolve and continue to grow and if we don't have all of the smash ultimate characters on there that's personally okay with me as long as you know i can play smash one day in 4k on the switch 2 or switch 3 or whatever direction nintendo ends up going in the far future but i personally would rather have the game series continue but i want to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you do think that Smash Ultimate should be the final send-off? Do you think Sakurai will ultimately just step away from the Smash series and we won't see any more titles developed? Or do you think he will ultimately come back and go ahead and give us a sequel? So share all your thoughts on all things Smash Bros Ultimate and the series future in the comments down below.
Now, the last story I want to share with you all today and the big talking point for today's video is some unfortunate news when it comes to Nintendo and their overall sales forecast and a factor that they are not being able to produce enough consoles to meet demand. And we could see some big OLED model shortages, specifically maybe even base model shortages as we approach the holiday season. And I want to start off this conversation by hopping back to VGC to read through an article that details Nintendo's adjustment in their overall forecast as reported by Nikai. So let's quickly read through that article together. Switch will reportedly miss production target by 20% due to supply issues. Company will fall short of 30 million target, it's claimed. Nikai reported in May that Nintendo was planning to significantly ramp up Switch production in anticipation of a new higher-end model, which would ultimately become the Switch OLED. According to the May report, Nintendo had asked its manufacturing partners to increase Switch production to 30 million units for this fiscal year, ending in March 31st of 2022. However, Nikai reports now that the continuing chip crunch, which has led to a shortage of semiconductors and other electronic parts, means Nintendo will miss its target by around 20%. Instead of the 30 million Switch units plans, Nikai reports that Nintendo will now only be able to produce 24 million Switch units this fiscal year. A Nintendo spokesperson confirmed to Nikai that the production was affected by component shortages, stating, we are assessing their impact on our production. Nintendo president Shintaro Furukawa admitted in May that the company is unable to make as many consoles as it would like, and there's an increasing sense of uncertainty about its production capabilities. So this is definitely one of those situations you just need to be aware of, especially as we approach the holiday season, because you know that there is going to be a lot of people out there buying Switch OLED models for their kids or for family members or upgrading their own Switch model. So regardless on where you may fall on that scale, if you want a Switch console this holiday, holiday season, it'll probably be a good idea to start looking for them now ahead of time because I believe that supply will continue to be more constrained as we go forward here. And unfortunately, it sounds like it will last even into the rest of the fiscal year, if not further for Nintendo. And I believe they do even have an investors meeting right around the corner. So we should actually get more information on this situation straight from them at that particular meeting. But it is one of those things that is unfortunate to see so many companies facing in this day and age and climate that we're in and keep in mind this is a chip shortage that is essentially affecting the original components that were in the base model switch that was actually being sold all the way back in 2017 and they are still facing supply issues with that classic x1 tegra and the other chips that are in there and so that's kind of a crazy thing because imagine if nintendo did go ahead and release that heavily rumored 4k revision that bloomberg was originally reporting and i do personally think that if nintendo went that route we would be seeing an entire another PS5 and Xbox Series X level situation with the Switch, if not worse, if they went for newer, harder to get chips on the inside of something like a more powerful Switch revision. So at this point in the video, guys, I want to hear from you in the comments down below on all the different stories we talked about today. Are you on the hunt for the N64 controller and will you be watching for future restock waves? What do you think about the future of Smash Bros as a whole? And do you think we will see Sakurai actually deliver another one on the Switch in the future? maybe the next gen switch or switch Two, if you will and finally let me know if you are seeing supply issues with the switch right now as i definitely know that the oled model is next to impossible to find outside of random restocks that happen online most times so i want to hear from you guys if you're on the hunt for any of these consoles and if you're going to try to secure yourself an oled model leading into the holiday season in 2021 so please share your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join some donation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today. And make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you'll have a great day. Some donation out.